Break. It didn't break. <laughs> we are out with Ross again. We're at his private farm. This is where we came last time. We wanted to do some crazy chase shots. We chased the arrow and we're back. We've got another dream shot in mind that we want to get. This is a sport clay shooter thing. What is this thing called? Clay thrower. A clay thrower. Like this. All right, so these clays are fast, but our drones are faster. We are flying freestyle drones. They're not the typical drone you see in Walmart or Best Buy. Our drones can orbit around the object and keep up with it at speed. And we think these clays are gonna be extra interesting because they're also gonna have the explosion factor when they get shot. Hey, got it with the second shot. Oh yeah, that's got some kickback. <laughs> Look at you, <laughs> stand up. <laughs> not really a big firearms person, but Sean was really excited about this. I think it will be an epic shot, but I also think I'm gonna be kind of on edge every time we hear a, a pow. Oh, almost, that was two out of three. How, how, how hard is it to, uh, how hard Shoot is it. it to... Okay. All right, so you just point it and you I'm just like pull the trigger. trigger. Always off the trigger unless you're ready to shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then see this button right here? Yeah. That's fire, that's safe. Okay, so red is dead. Red is dead. Wait, make sure it's really tight on your shoulder. Take that orange dot and put it on something down there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> that is the last time we're ever doing that. <laughs> Ow! That's a 20 gauge! What? It gets worse? The drone needs to go at it with some speed because as the drone gets to the launch point, then they're going the same speed. The only thing about going through the barn is we need to make sure the camera settings are locked because when you go into that shadow, it could change the exposure. But if we lock it, it won't be a problem. Yeah. So your firearm has more spread, so it'll be a little bit easier. Should be. In fact, you might hit our quads without even trying. Well, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, I, mean, I prefer I, I, to not lose a I quad today. chokes. And okay. like what it does is it chokes down or out okay. the spread of the BBs inside. But we're going to be like right, I mean, we're going to try to be like right on That's the clay. Cool. Yeah. But that Skyliner's unstoppable, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right? You can't break <laughs> you the can, Skyliner. You can hit it with a turkey <laughs> choke and it'll still keep on gobbling. I don't think you've got me yet. It sounded like it. I'm not messing with you. <laughs> look at this. No, I was telling oh, wow. you. I was like, I think I, I, think I, that's, I, think I hit you. I think. No, look at these. <gasps> oh, you hit me. I, like, I think I hit you. Wow. Oh, oh, like, like, is like, is that how big the b yeah. BBs are? Yeah. You really can't little, they look like stop BBs the Skyliner, can you? can't stop it, baby. <laughs> Oh, you yeah, shot the drone! That time. <laughs> Holy crap, somehow blew an, a motor clear off. How How do you even do that? With a shotgun? I guess so. <laughs> it hit the clay as well the as the drone at the same time, so. Well, then I think the drone's probably fine. It's got to slap a new arm on it. As long as it wasn't was your flight controller. Yeah, no, I think we're good. But an arm and a motor and we'll be fine. Well, that's it spun like a motor came off. You're right. But well, I, then you did. <laughs> <laughs> And the clay hits you too. <laughs> Dude, maybe it was the clay that knocked. I'm not, I don't no know what just way. happened. So the drone I'm flying is my signature frame, the Skyliner HD. It's built around carrying the DJI digital FPV system. So we have the air unit in the back and our camera up front. Four in ones have gotten really popular because it keeps the ESCs off the arms, which is gonna prevent them from getting hit by the props or maybe bullets, but I always run individual ESCs. There's just something, I, I think they just fly a little smoother. So these are the T-Motor F35 ESCs. It does make the drone a lot more difficult to put together and more time consuming, but 
It's just something a little smoother. Maybe it's in my head, I don't know, but it's just what I do. For recording, we got the uh, Osmo Action here. This camera is kind of impressing me today because we've literally shot it and it's still still working. So my HD camera mount, uh, I custom built myself with extra protection so that it can withstand all of the abuse that we put it through when we smash into cement walls at Bandos. So I'm also running quad blade props. My friend Edwin gave me a set of quad blade props to try and ever since then I've just fell in love with them. I feel like they're more grippy. Kind of makes my quad feel like I'm flying 6S even though I'm flying 4S. I'm able to pull out of dives easier. I'm able to corner a lot better with the four blade props than I could with the three blade props. So what is this? It more camera appealing. We filled it with this is like chalk line chalk, and so we just filled it like that. So that when we shoot it, it's gonna go. Yeah, it'll it'll be a lot more than just like a just a broken clay. Awesome. Yeah. Nice, dude, you're cool. getting so good. You're getting so good at this. <laughs> Pull. Yeah. Nice. I was on you the whole time. I was on it. Oh. Thanks for watching guys. This was a really difficult challenge, but I think we got some excellent shots out of it. It was, oh my it gosh, was kind it was... of a crazy trajectory to follow, but when you got it and it just got popped right in your face. It was really cool it was to awesome. see. awesome. Oh Love my the gosh. high frame rate too, seeing that. Thanks to DJI for sponsoring this episode. We flew all the drones today using the digital FPV system, which is awesome for this type of stuff because you get that clear HD image to pilot with, which makes it a lot easier to spot this little tiny target that you're trying to catch up with. Not only that, but flying around all this metal out here, I don't think analog would have been able to penetrate all of this stuff we've got going on. Out so here. it worked out great. If you want to build the drones like the ones that we flew in today's episode, visit rotoriot.com. We sell all the parts. We sell the drones ready to fly, actually, too. Check the link down in the description. You can get everything that you need to get into FPV. It's the best hobby ever. All the shots were captured with the DJI Osmo camera, also. We got that in the store. It gets that 4K. K high resolution or that high frame rate if you want that slow-mo like you saw today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It's totally free to subscribe and it really helps out the channel. While you're down there, don't forget the bell. Every Monday we got episodes like this. I'm the Drib. I'm Let's Fly RC. And we'll see you next time on Rotorize. <laughs> <laughs>